And as Steve alluded to, uh, we do have a pretty good sized rainstorm headed our way. And while the water is certainly welcome, there are also a few concerns. Eyewitness News reporter Chris Nesman shows us the good and the bad of what this means for our fire season. The stark contrast between the beige hill and the black and burned hill behind it is a reminder of how serious of a fire season we went through. That's why the coming rains are a welcome relief for firefighting agencies like the BLM. They're calling it a season ending storm. These are the kind of weather events that uh, put the largest fires into a more subdued state. Uh, we're not going to have big runs. Uh, there's going to be enough moisture that the effects of this storm are going to last beyond just a few days. The downside to all the rain is if it comes too quickly, agencies worry about mudslides and erosion, especially in steep areas. What really will occur is not just uh, the removal of that sediment from the hillside, but where that sediment goes ends up going into the creek. And the size of the fire scar means the BLM is still waiting on resources to restore more of the land to its natural state and prevent invasive species from moving in. But they have managed to protect a few areas like the Kepps Crossing area. We've put in what we call wattles, and basically what those do is uh, they help displace some of that sediment as it comes down the hill so that it doesn't all just wash off in one big load. The BLM warns that even in areas away from the burn scars, the amount of rain we could see has the potential to cause small mudslides and often some falling trees. Uh, they just want to encourage you to be prepared if you do indeed plan to go into the backcountry.